Hi, I'm Greg. Welcome to this short video to help show you around the GoOn website. The GoOn website is a great resource to help people learn how to use computers and the internet for the very first time. It has lots of resources on there from various different places such as Digital Unite and the BBC. To access GoOn, you need to type www.go-on.com slash learn. Okay, so here is the website. It's really clear, there's no clutter, very easy to navigate, making it perfect for someone's first steps onto a computer or the internet. In this short video, I'm going to first of all cover the home page, which is the page we are currently on, and then moving across the colourful tabs at the top, I'm going to look at the Get Started tab, the Online Basics tab, the Learn More tab, then finally finishing with the What's Next tab. Okay, so let's start by looking at the home page. And if I draw attention to the top right of the screen, you can see a sign-in area. But the great thing about the GoOn website is that the majority of the resources are available without signing in. Now, the area which does require you to sign in is the Online Basics modules. This is because it logs learners' progression every time they log in. Now, this is invaluable for learners to reach their online goals. I will show you how to create an account and log in to access Online Basics later in the video. As you can see here, there are four large option buttons spread across the middle of the screen. Now this makes it very easy for learners to click on. And because they are colour coded to the same colour as the tabs above, it makes it very easy for them to remember whereabouts those options will take them. For example, the keyboard and mouse option in the middle is coloured green. That is because it's also located in the green Get Started tab located above. Okay, moving down to the bottom half of the home page, if a learner would like some help closer to their home, they can enter their postcode here, and this will give them a list of all the local UK online centres. Just press go to see that list. A digital champion is a name given to someone who helps others for the first steps online. If you would like to become a digital champion, you can click here to find out more information. And finally, there's another option to sign in here if you have an account. Moving back to the top of the page, I'm going to select the green Get Started tab here. This is the place to take your first steps online. So you can have various options here from using the mouse to playing a quick game. You can also access learning modules on the left hand side to get started. Each module is laid out in a similar layout, which is great because it stays familiar with learners. If I show you an example of the mouse module, I will click Mouse Basics. You are now presented with an overview to start learning about the mouse. And to get started, all you need to do is select Have I Go. You can start the training module by selecting Start Mouse Basics. Alternatively, you can get more practice by visiting other people's training resources, such as the BBC and Digital Unite. OK, and moving back to the top of the screen, we'll click the blue tab, Online Basics. And Online Basics is a short, free course which helps you get to grips with the basics of getting online for the first time. And as mentioned at the start of the video, you do need to sign up to take advantage of the free online course. This is because Online Basics logs learning to help learners reach their learning goals. So if I just click the Sign Up and Get Started tab, I just need to fill in these basic details here. So starting with my first name and then moving on to my surname. This should then automatically populate a username for me. You can keep that username or you can create something yourself. They will need this username when they log in to Online Basics next time, so they need to be able to remember it. The learner then needs to create a password, which is easy to remember, but what other people can't guess. This needs to be more than six characters long. It will show you the strength of the password here. It will turn green when it's acceptable. The learner then needs to type the same password in again to make sure they can remember it. The learner is then given the opportunity to enter a centre code. So if they're associated with a centre, that's the place where you put it in. If this is left blank, a centre ID number can be added later on under Manage the Accounts. I'll show you that later on. I just now need to click Next. The learner then will be asked for an email address. If they have an email account already, they can input that address here. This is useful in case they forget the password, so a reminder can be sent to that address. However, if the learner does not have an email address, they can simply click on the label, I do not have an email address. It will then ask for a telephone mobile number. But again, 
if the learner does not have a mobile number, they can click on the label, I don't have a phone number. The final account check would be to put the learner's address in here. But please note, a password reminder cannot be sent to an address. A password reminder can only be sent to an email address or a mobile telephone number. So I'm going to go back and look at the telephone number. So all you need to do is to fill in your telephone mobile number there and then tick the boxes if you wish and then go to create my account. Fantastic. And in a few simple steps, the learner has created their own login details and they are immediately presented with their learning log. Because it's just been created, none of the six modules have been started yet. To start the course, simply click on the big start course button here, alternatively on the module you would like to do. Then simply press start. The learner then will need to select the course they would like to do. Then press next. That course has now been started. To close the course, you need to click the word close and then press next. And now you can see that the course has now started. And if the learner was to sign out and sign back in again, the learner then will need to put their username they've just created and also their rememberable password. But if the learner has forgotten their password, they can access the forgotten password option here and also here. So first of all, if the learner types their username in here, then press sends new password. It will then prompt them for either their email address or mobile number, depending on which information the learner chose to give. And once that is inputted in there, just press submit. I'll put my mobile number in and press submit. You will receive a text message from Go On, and it's just the case of entering that code and pressing submit. The learner then now can create their new password by entering the password at the top and re-entering it at the bottom to confirm it's correct. This brings the learner to edit your account page. This can also be accessed in the top right hand corner of the Go On website. Just click on edit your account. Here you can change the name of the learner, you can change the email address, change the telephone number, or even add a sensor code. Once you're done editing, all you need to do is press save and any changes will be updated. Okay, the final two tabs I'd like to show you is the purple learn more tab and the orange what's next tab. But first of all, starting with the purple learn more tab. This area offers the learner progression from learning the basics. It has modules including job hunting, jobs and interviews, and loads of useful information around public services online. Here, learners can do lots of fun activities to learn all about how public services can benefit them. All you need to do is select have a go and that takes you through to the online course. Learners can also easily visit public services which are an interest to them, such as taxes and benefits, your local council, which are both situated in the direct gov site. It's really great and really, really useful information. Great. Let's go to the final tab, the orange what's next tab. Here, learners can take what they've learnt about the internet and computers to a new level. They could become digital champions, which is a term given to a person helping other people get online. Here you can do a fantastic e-learning course by selecting becoming a digital champion. There's also an option for learners to get broadband at their own home so they can surf the internet from the comfort of their own home and use all the skills I've learned from the Go On website. Okay, so by selecting the big purple Go On button in the top left corner, it brings them back to the home page. I hope you found this video useful and best of luck helping people get online for the first time.